Okay. So the box is a bit huge compared to a single face. So it comes with your quick installation guide for the EPM. Your mounting bracket. Aluminum. And the unit itself. So similar to a single face, still have the same buttons, escape up, down and enter, same leads, the logo, so this box, okay, so you have five uh, communication ports which you'll need to connect this to your GTI in parallel. So these are only five. If you have more than five GTI, especially this, that you accommodate more than ten GTI in advance, you have to ask for from your vendor that you're going to install more than ten. So ask for additional communication cable. So there are five by the inside the box. So this one is okay. So you have so, so this is your power. Okay, just to power your ATM socket because this one has so let's check what's in store. Okay, so you have five pins, so definitely for three for your wires. Uh, line and P and neutral depends on the grid type one second this is for your city so for your current transformer because you only have two connection one so it must be around three so you get one, two, and three. So you have four. So let's check what are the connections because you have four, two pins. And this is for your RJ45 depending on the uh, GTI because some GTI comes with an RG45 connection to parallel itself or it needs this type of connection so that depends that's why you uh, Solis provided us with a connector for the other end so your antenna and the brackets the screws for your mounting brackets okay let's set it aside so now the unit itself is removed okay none so you have the top view so just like the single face view at the back so there's none on the side is your sticker or name plate so EPM so it supports grid connection for three line neutral and your ground so it supports WIE a WIE and also delta yeah because if it doesn't support any uh, delta then this one is optional at the bottom okay so now you have your power the grid ct123 
so your Wi-Fi is here. Just light, not really that heavy. Okay, and that we will see what's in store for us on this thing. Upgrade, uh, which this one doesn't have in a one P. So your communication. So that's why you have four. If you have an RS four eight five, or now this is your for your antenna. So it's just a built-in antenna. Okay. So this one from one inverter going to the other inverter. So this is for your parallel. That's why you need that's why you have four of these. Because the two and the three, by the way, you need for the CT connection. Now APM when being so doesn't come with current transformer so that's why when you order this you're going to ask you're going to inform your vendor or seller that you need a CT or current transformer now depending on the wire that you need sample of it is this one Current transform is huge. So you can see this in your APM manual. So download it first prior to purchasing so that you will know how big is the city that you need. So just a comparison or just to have a size. So the inner core is around that's 40 millimeter 42 millimeters and around 63 or 62 millimeter so at least you have an idea of around an inch and a half and around two and a half inch depending on how big is your wire so because this one as you can see it's acryl and its rating is 300 amps by 5 amps if you need to buy a generic one which will definitely uh, run it must if it's in EPM secondary wire should be 5 amps it won't run if it's not 5 amps so you can buy a generic one but i would suggest bet better buy this one because it's already calibrated generic ones are not so you have to calibrate on your lcd this one's already okay so in summary this one is apm 5 uh, 5g plus comes with its own built-in Wi-Fi it's more that it can handle more than uh, 10 GTIs if you if your installation requires more than that the APM 5G only 10 GTI or less okay so I hope you've learned something from this unboxing and also I'm going to share also the wiring how the, how does this APM being wired to your 
three-phase uh, solace inverter also. Thumbs up.